is picture a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. The little boy went into his backyard, and he saw that butterfly kind of struggling to get out of that cocoon. So he quickly ran inside, went and pulled out some tweezers out of the cabinet. And he pulled those tweezers, and very gently, very delicately, he pulled the cocoon open to help that poor little butterfly that was struggling to get out. And after a few minutes, and he was able to open up the cocoon, that butterfly slowly emerged, and it stood on a branch. But the little boy noticed that the, that the butterfly's body was enlarged and swollen and the wings weren't completely open well the butterfly was unable to do that and eventually after a few minutes the butterfly died what the little boy didn't know about the process of metamorphosis from a caterpillar to a butterfly is that it has to struggle the butterfly has to struggle coming out of the cocoon that is part of the butterfly's process if it is not afflicted if it is not if it doesn't go through it completely then it does not gain the strength necessary to take off and fly. The process has to start and it has to finish. You cannot stump it. You cannot interrupt it. You cannot stop it. You've got to go through the process. Otherwise, you will not be able to fly. Some of you are probably going through a trial right now, whether you're in one, going into one, or coming out of one, but we've all been there. I want you to understand this. If it is your process to go through, it doesn't matter how many hours you spend on your knees. It doesn't matter how many hours, how many people you gather, how much time you spend in the church. If it's your process, it's your process. You pray, you worship, you believe, but it's your process. If you're going to grow and extend and get to the point where you're ready to be used, I mean, come on. Jesus, the only begotten Son, He was in the wilderness for 40 days. Did God spare that? No. It was part of the process.